اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد في الاولين وصل على سيدنا محمد في الاخرين وصل على سيدنا محمد في الملائكه الاعلى اليوم الدين ما شاء الله لا قوه الا بالله العلي العظيم ماذا تستطيع يا سيد الشيخ عبد الله الفائز الدغستاني ماذا سيد الشيخ محمد ناظم عادل الحقاني ماذا سيد الشيخ محمد عادل الرباني وجاء الله اعيننا بعون الله وكونوا عونا لنا بالله عسى نحظى بفضل الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته الحمد لله we are in the final stretch of the month of suffer and we are waiting for ربيع الأنور ربيع الأول ربيع the enlightened month ربيع the month of the birth of guidance the month of the birth of anwar of lights Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu was born in Rabi'ul Awwal. So we are waiting with anticipation and expectation and excitement for this coming uh, season of beauty, of uh, heavenly nights, because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Beloved Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is he's the most beloved of his creation. There is nobody in existence in all of creation who has the status of Habibullah, beloved of Allah, except Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He was, the Sahaba were sitting one time and they were discussing the manaqib. The, uh, what do you say, manaqib is the is the special qualities of each of the prophets so they were saying oh, ibrahim is khalilullah and they were saying uh, they were saying uh, sayyidna musa is kalimullah and they were saying sayyidna isa is ruhullah alayhi and sayyidna muhammad was passing and he heard and he says wa ana habibullah and i am beloved of allah wala fakhr he wasn't it's just Allah gave him that that status and station, gave him al maqam al mahmud, most praiseworthy. La nabi mursal, wala malakum muqarrab, no no close angel, no nabi, no rasul can reach the station that Allah gave to Sayyidina Muhammad. That is just a fact. And Sayyidina Muhammad, most humble, he would say, I'm even with all this, I'm not feeling proud. Sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam So he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Was born The best of the khalq Khayru khalq illa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brought him forth into this existence In the best of the months Rabi'u al-anwar Rabi'u al-awwal So we are waiting Insha'Allah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us in Another what uh, how many days Week maybe and with anticipation because this month is it seems is very heavy people are under a lot of burden in this month it seems and in suffer in suffer now and so inshallah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us to see another rabi' and grant us to see many rabi' al awwal on iman and islam inshallah and they asked me to give Jum'a tomorrow, so I was trying to think about what to speak uh, at IMO. Also next week, the first, uh, the second or th- second or second of Rabi'u al-Awwal, we are having a Mawlid in international uh, Muslim organization in uh, in uh, Etobicoke. Uh, inshallah, Allah grant us to. Uh, be honored to um, to to uh, to to be in that event and to actually to be honored with Madih with praising Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu in a Mawlid with people, inshallah. But I was looking what to say, and every year, as soon as Rabi'u al-Awwal comes, you will hear so much fitna and discord and arguments about what is. Mawlid Bid'ah is Mawlid this, you know, 
every every year the internet is buzzing with this topic and arguments and people back and forth arguing whether celebrating Sayyid al-Khalq celebrating the birthday of the, the master of creation he said about himself and I'm, I am the master of the children of Adam and he's being humble ولا فخر he said but he he could say I am the master of, of all created beings ولا فخر he would if he said it it would be true as well because son of Adam is the crown of creation ولقد كرمنا بني آدم is one of Allah's uh, honored creation if he is their master he is the master of all he is we know he is uh, his rank is above the angels from Isra and Mi'raj so he could have said that and, and that wala fakhr also so celebrating uh, the Muslims feeling happy and joyful that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us Islam and made us followers of Sayyidina Muhammad وسلم, is an occasion to be extremely joyful of and grateful of and thankful of that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made me a Muslim and honored me to be the follower of the best in creation Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam it is a reason for me to be joyful so on, on the occasion when he was born into this world to show happiness and joy when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said قُلْ بِفَضْلِ اللَّهِ وَبِرَحْمَتِهِ فَبِذَلِكَ فَلْيَفْرَحُ Say to them with Allah's favor and his mercy let them rejoice let them be happy what favor is bigger than to be a Muslim? what favor is bigger than to be a follower of Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Is there a bigger favor? Wabi rahmati. And be happy for the mercy that Allah sent. Wama arsalna ka illa rahmatan lil alameen. Verily, we have sent you as a mercy. Mercy to the worlds. Wa rahma al muhda. Sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Salam. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granting, granting this mercy to all of creation and we can't show our joy when his Rabi'ah, when his birthday comes we're supposed to be bid'ah Don't go What am I going to do if I don't go to, to the masjid and say salawat on the Prophet What am I going to do? I'm going to sit home on my uh, iPhone, play games. Your children, our children are suffering. They're spiritually deprived kids now. Their role models are uh, dunya people, football stars and this. The safety is to, to make them lovers of Sayyidina Muhammad, to, for him to be their role model. If, if your kids, when they're young and as you don't instill the love of Sayyidina Muhammad, they're in trouble in their hearts. So I wanted to say that the, when, you, when you go to any Jum'ah, you find the khatibs saying truthful words, the words of Sayyidina Muhammad, he's Sadiq al Masduq. And he used to start his khutbah, man yudli lillah wa sa'd, man yudli lillah fa la hadi lahu wa man yahdi fa la mudilla lahu. نأصدق الحديث كتاب كتاب الله وأحسن الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم مش هيك وإن خير وخير وخير المحد وشر المحدثات اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وشر 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 وأصدق الهدي هدي وأحسن الهدي هدي محمد وشر الأمور محدثاتها وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار anywhere you go in the masajid they start this hadith اقتداء بسيدنا محمد because صلى الله عليه وسلم he used to he used to recite this every time 
but not every time but a lot of times he would start his khutbah and he would say this so it is good that the khutaba they follow suit the problem is when they twist the meaning and the understanding of this hadith when they use it as a sword over the heads of muslims and a stick to shoo them away from a lot of good because they say Kullu muhdathatim bid'a. Every muhdatha, every innovation is bid'a. And every, and they say, wa kullu bid'atin. And they understand it, ala wajhi al-umum al-mutlaq. I mean, they understand it in absolute sense. That means, if, if that's the meaning, then we are all in trouble. Because the Sahaba, you know, Sayyidina Umar radiallahu anhu wa arta, when he went to the masjid in Ramadan and he saw one person praying by himself taraweeh and five people here and 10 people there and each one had their recitation and he saw it's like a complete chaos. He said to, uh, to Sayyidina Ubay bin Ka'b, you are their imam tomorrow and everybody prays behind you. Sayyidina Muhammad didn't do this. He didn't assign an imam and he didn't make a jama'ah of taraweeh. This was something new. So if كل محدثة بدعة then Sayyidina Umar رضي الله عنه مبتدع and the, and the amazing thing is the next night Sayyidina Umar رضي الله عنه وأرضى went to the masjid and saw Sayyidina Ubay bin Ka'b reciting and all the people praying behind him. What did he say? What a beautiful bid'ah he calls it. <laughs> Sayyidina Umar calls his order Ni'matul Bid'ah. So if we use their understanding, kul means absolutely everything, then the Sahaba are in trouble. Kibaru Sahaba. Then Sayyidina uh, Bilal starting a new sunnah where he makes wudu he prays two rak'ahs the prophet never did that's bid'ah then sayyidna khubay praying when he was to be martyred two rak'ahs that no one prophet didn't sanction or that's bid'ah so many but what the reality is the in the quran allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shows you that kul can be in general an absolute man but it also can be in a general but with takhsis, special manner. When Allah says in the Holy Quran, تُدَمِّرُ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ بِأَمْرِ رَبِّهَا فَأَصْبَحُوا لَا يُرَى إِلَّا مَسَكِنَهُمْ He's talking about the wind destroying everything with the order of Allah. He says, كُل, everything. And then after that he said, فَأَصْبَحُوا لَا يُرَى إِلَّا مَسَكِنَهُمْ Then in the morning, you couldn't only see their houses. Well, houses is not from everything. So here, takhsis is that every living thing, every uh, moving thing. But the houses were fine. Similarly here, another hadith of Prophet Wasallam explains what does the bid'ah mean. And this hadith is in the 40, 40 Nawawiyah. When his hadith Sayyida Aisha radiallahu anhu arda, when she, he, Prophet Wasallam said, man ahdatha fi amarina هَذَا مَا لَيْسَ مِنْهُ فَهُوَ رِدْ Whoever innovates in our religion, that which is not part of it, that which contradicts it, that which is not sanctioned by it, or acceptable to it, then it is returned on him. مَا لَيْسَ مِنْهُ That's why when Sayyidina Bilal uh, Prophet ﷺ in Isra, he said, خش النبي, I heard the clacking of your sandals, the sound of your sandals in heaven, O Bilal. What is it that you're يعني, asking him with ta'ajjub, يعني, with and Sayyidina Bilal explanation that every time he makes adhan, he prays two rak'ah, and every time he uh, loses his wudu, he makes wudu and he prays to rak'ah. And what did Prophet said? I never taught you this. How dare you 
Astaghfirullah, you do something I, I didn't sanction. This is bid'ah. Did he say? What did he say to him? I said, he said to Bihima. Because of those two things you are doing, that's why Allah granting you this. Affirming. Why? Because Ma Laysa Minhu, Sayyidina Bilal is praying, which is Minaddi, which is part and parcel of religion. Similarly, when you go to Mawlid, they start with the Holy Quran. Is the Quran from religion? Yes. They what do they do besides Holy Quran? They do Madih, Salawat on the Prophet. Salawat is from religion? Yes. In the Allah Allah's yes. order is to make salawat. When you make salawat, it's from religion? Yes. When you pray Sayyidina Muhammad, Tamdahu is from religion? Yes. Sayyidina Hassan bin Thabit, Sayyidina Ka'ab, reciting poetry in his presence. It is from religion, honoring him. From religion. At the end of it, making people happy. And at Khalasuru, making people to, to invite them to be together. And so is that from religion? Yes. It khalusururi ila qalbil abdi min al-iman. To make people happy is from faith. Prophet said, it'aam ta'am, feeding people. Is that from religion? Yes. Ata'imu ta'am. Prophet Afshu salam. Wa ata'imu ta'am. Wa sallu bil wa nasun yam. He said, feed the people. So the whole e entire event is full of praiseworthy good deeds and that is going to take you to hellfire. This is the level of ignorance we are in now. That you stop people from going to do good things and to worship Allah, to, uh, to draw nearer, to praise the Prophet وسلم, to teach their kids about Sayyidina Muhammad. You want to stop all that from happening. May Allah forgive us. This is the this is the time we are living in. Fitan Akhir Zaman, where everything is upside down. You go you go have a political event to support a country, to support a cause, all day long in the masajid. No worries, no problem. But tell them, come and make salah ala nabi Bid'ah. Tell them, come and say, la ilaha illallah. Oh, bid'ah. La hawla wa la quwata illa billah. What a time we live in. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us and keep us followers of Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wa min Allahi tawfiq bi hurmati al-habib bi hurmati al-fatiha.